Hey guys, your teacher here with topic number three of this year, which is the present progressive versus the past progressive. Okay, please remember to take notes and check the other links on the guide. Let's begin. So let's begin with the present progressive. So the present progressive, we use it to uh, talk about ongoing actions in the present. Ongoing actions in the present would be those uh, that we're doing right now, currently in the moment. So for example, I'm finishing my homework. Okay, that is happening right now. It's an ongoing action. Um, and the past progressive, we use it too to describe or to speak about ongoing actions, but in the past, things at a specific moment in the past that were ongoing. For example, I was doing my homework at 5 p.m. Okay, I'm being specific at a certain time that I wasn't finished, I was still doing my homework at that moment. For the structure of both, uh, it's very similar. Both the structures are very similar. In the present progressive, we have the subject plus the verb to be in the present, um, the verb uh, with ing, with the ing ending. So we have the subject, uh, for example, I, and the verb to be am, and the verb with ing studying so we have here i'm currently studying english at home by myself currently here is a time queue as we have seen before we have a time queue here and we can have we can have these time queues in between the verb to be and the verb with ing so i am currently studying english at home by myself the structure of the past progressive very similar to we have uh the subject plus the verb to be, but the verb to be this time in the past. So the verb to be in the past and the verb again with ing. So we have, and as an example, we were watching TV. So we, as the subject, were, as the verb to be in the past, and watching is the verb with ing. So we were watching TV when the storm began, okay? As you know, the past progressive needs more time cues to be uh, used. It needs to be specific. So here the time cue is when the storm began. We have uh, time cues for the present progressive. For example, right now, currently, and still. Still can be used for both. Uh, but it's very usual to be used in, in, in the present progressive. Then we have time cues for the past progressive. We have at, at certain time, for example, at 5 p.m., at 3.30 a.m., and at a specific moment in time that was in the past, okay? Something that was ongoing at a specific time. We have earlier today. So earlier today, I was planning these classes, okay? Then we have a simple past connection. A time cue with a simple past, just like the example, when the storm began, okay, that is a time cue. When the storm began, that's when, okay, we were watching TV, okay? Here we have some examples of how and when uh, to use each one. So we have, I am studying to become a doctor. So something that is ongoing it's still ongoing. I've been doing this for some time, so I am studying to become a doctor. A question here we have, are you working on a special on any special projects at work? So here we have the, the, the question structure. Are you working on any special projects at work? We have another question. Are you coming to the party with us? So are you coming to the party with us? We have another question, but this one in the past. Were you studying when she called? Were you studying when she called? And last but not least, again with the past, this time not a question. Uh, at midnight, we were still driving through the desert. At midnight, at a specific moment, we were still driving through the desert. Okay, well, that was it, guys. Uh, please remember to check the links on the guide, check the other videos, of course, and uh, take notes of everything you see in this in, in this class and in other uh, things. 
Take care and see you in class.